Hey everybody, it's Forrest from FlipFly and I get to show you the new world we've added to Race the Sun. First, I want to give a quick overview of how the main world works for those who aren't familiar. Basically, you are a solar-powered craft racing at insane speeds. The sun is in front of you and it's always setting. You're trying to catch up, but if you fly in the shadows, you slow down. If you bump into things, you slow down. If the sun sets, you die, and if you crash, you die. You can delay your death by catching speed boosts, and there are a bunch of other unlockable things that help you survive longer and get more points. Collecting the blue spinning things gives you points, and having more points is how you prove you're better than your friends. <laughs> With the PlayStation launch, we've added this new world called Labyrinthia. It's an advanced world, and it's locked, so you'll have to unlock the world by leveling up. We wanted to present a new kind of challenge, so surviving in this world is more about planning ahead than the twitch reaction of the main world. The sun has pretty much been taken out of the equation, so all you have to do is not hit things. That's complicated by the fact that there are lots of switches, doors, and spinning things to figure out. Everything considered Labyrinthia is really, really difficult. We had a ton of fun designing it, and we hope you had fun dying in it. <laughs>